Hey y'all, welcome to the Crafty Cove. My name's Missy. Today I am part of a color challenge where myself and four other crafters have each given each other a different color to DIY with. My color's blue. So we're gonna get right into it. We'll talk about the challenge in just a few minutes. So the first thing I'm going to do on DIY number one is take this windmill welcome sign from the Dollar Tree. We're gonna cut the tag off and then we are going to give this two good coats of Waverly chalk paint in white. And we do the two coat. We do go ahead and paint the oh, fan blades also, even though we're going to cover those. But I do want to go ahead and get them all covered up. So we're going to do two good coats of this Waverly chalk paint. Y'all know that I would have loved to spray paint this. And I sound like a broken record, but for those who are new to my channel, I travel with my husband, so at the moment I'm in a hotel and cannot spray paint. So, that's the problem here. <laughs> so after two good coats, we're going to take this scrapbook paper that I got from the Hobby Lobby. I got the blue with the white stars. And I'm just going to kind of measure out how big the, f the blade is to the windmill. And I'm going to cut three pieces of this blue and then I get that red and white material, or not material, I'm sorry, scrapbook paper you see over there. And I do the same thing to that. Now I'm going to take some Aileen's Tacky Glue. We're gonna glue this right on there. We're gonna do the blue and white, then the red and white, then the blue and white. We're just going to alternate. And I'm showing you the first two that I do here. And after I get those two put on there, I go ahead and cut those out just so I can see how everything's uh, going to turn out on this as far as the blades go and then I go back through after cutting it out you can see there those two are cut out now I'm just going to go right back through and keep alternating our scrapbook paper on the blades Now that we've got all of our scrapbook paper on our blades, we're going to take this Let It Snow sign from the Dollar Tree and take everything off of it. Look how easy that paper pulled off, y'all. One try. I was so excited. Then we are going to take off the hanger, sand it down, put some spackle on there, let that dry, sand it down again, sand it down again. And now we are going to take our Ocean by Waverly Chalk Paint and a chippy brush and we are going to give this a good coat. I kind of, it's a heavy coat, but then again, it's not complete full coverage. Like I leave little spots open on the sides. I like to see that um, wood shine through. After we get one coat of that on there, then we're going to take this Nautical by Folk Art Chalk Paint and a wet brush and we're just going to kind of just put some strokes on there. I'm just trying to give this just a little bit of dimension and I love how this turns out. After we get done with the nautical then we are going to while that's we did dry the nautical I wanted that to be dry and then we're going to take some white Waverly chalk paint again and do the same exact thing just some strokes. Then I take a baby wipe and start to blend it all in Now we're going to take the hanger off of our welcome sign, which I should have done in the beginning, but I thought maybe I would use it, but I decided not to. So we're taking that hanger off. We get all of that cut the way it needs to be. I cut around all of the scrapbook paper. I let that dry really well, that Aileen's Tacky Glue, before I started cutting all of these. Now we're just figuring out our placement. Sorry about my phone in the picture, y'all. I was waiting on an important phone call when I was filming this. So here we're just figuring out our placement. Then we're just going to add some hot glue on this sign. That's all I used to put this together with and stick it down there. Now I did, I started recording. I saw it and I wasn't recording. All I'm doing is taking some Dollar Tree ribbon. That's why I've got this on regular speed. 
because I messed up, y'all. <laughs> Take some uh, burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I put three strips on this down at the bottom, overlapping each other. I glue on the back and on the bottom seam of the bottom one, if that makes any sense. I'm leaving the top open. You can see right here as I stick my hand in there because we are going to stick some flowers in there. Now I'm just taking some onion grass, taking it off the stem, putting that down in there, some white flowers from the Dollar Tree. The onion grass is also from the Dollar Tree. Then I take some lilacs and some blue flowers and stick those down in there, just varying heights. Y'all, I am not a florist. There are two things that I will admit as a crafter that I am not very good at doing, and that is making bows and floral arranging. I'm learning and I'm trying. So thank y'all for your patience. And if you have any helpful hints, y'all do not hesitate to put them in the comments because I am all about helping people out. So if you can help me, that would be amazing. So we're just going to put all of those in there and that's it y'all. It's, I think it turned out really cute and I love how the windmill looks on this sign. And here is our final project. Isn't that cute? And I love the pops of blue. Okay, y'all, like I said earlier, I am part of a color challenge with Mama Can Make It, The Rusted Willow, and Six Kids in a Glue Gun. Y'all make sure that you go visit all of their channels. I'm going to have them linked in the description box. They are really awesome crafters. Um, they but all three do some farmhouse decor, uh, they do some thrift flips, I, you know, uh, hauls, all those things, and I enjoy each and every one of these ladies. What we decided to do was take four of us, and each of us gave the other a color, and we were to try and center our designs around the color that we were given. And as I told you before, I was given the color blue. Now, our DIYs did not have to be just completely the color that we were given or anything like that. The color was given as like an inspiration to each of us. So I am so excited and I would love for y'all to go and visit these ladies again. They are amazing. And I've had such fun doing this collab. And not only that, but just getting to know them. YouTube is a place where you can make friends and I am making many, many lifelong friends. So thank you ladies for allowing me to be a part of this. We're gonna get right back into it y'all, DIY number two. I found this pink vase, I have no idea where the footage went of the vase before I painted it, at the Dollar Tree and I'm just taking some of the Nautical Blue by Folk Art, I believe, yeah. And no, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm taking the Ocean by Waverly and painting that up with two good coats. Then I'm taking this little windmill that I found from uh, Hobby Lobby and we are just going to paint this white. This is a really simple DIY, y'all. After we get that painted white, we are just basically going to glue it right onto the vase there, the jar. And then we're just gonna decorate it with some florals. Again, I am not a floral designer, but I do take these solo wood flowers that I was sent. I will leave a link in the description box for this product, y'all. These are amazing, I love them. They are so high-end looking, they look like real flowers, I love them. And you usually dye these, but I didn't have a blue dye. So I decided just to take my chalk paint and just to kind of run over it like the edges of the petals, just to give it a hint of blue. I love how these turned out. These flowers are so versatile and they're amazing. So y'all make sure you check out the link in my description box for these. Now, you can also, they're very affordable. I got a bag of 50 and there is an assortment. This is the tropical assortment. You can also buy like the stems for these. I did not do that. Actually, these were sent to me by Sola. Um, and I did not ask for the stems. Now that I'm using these, I wish that I would have. But there is a solution. I just take these Dollar Tree dowel rods, cut them down about in half, and then I take these and I just glue them to the flowers. Some of the flowers have holes in the bottom, which makes it a lot easier. And if you buy the stems 
with the flowers, they will just go right into the flowers instead of having to use the hot glue. But I still think it turned out amazing. Y'all know again, I'm not a florist, but isn't that adorable? And I love the pop of blue that the flowers have on them. Make sure you check out Solo Wood Flowers. Again, y'all, I'm Missy. This is The Crafty Cove. You can find me on Instagram, you can email me, and you can buy me a coffee if you'd like to help support my channel. All those links will be in the description box. Okay guys, our final and our final DIY, DIY number three, we're taking one of these little box, our house shadow box things from the Dollar Tree. We're just going to remove the back of this. This is not hard to do at all. Now this next step is something that I got from my friend over at Crafty Cassie. I'm sorry, she just changed her name, so I was making sure I got that right. I saw her do this in one of her projects not too long ago, and I loved it. So I'm taking these wooden straws from the Dollar Tree. She found some really cute striped ones, but the only ones I could find were these silver metallic. That's okay, we're gonna paint them up. We're just gonna put run some hot glue along the back of our house here, uh, the piece that we took out, and we are going to glue these straws right on there just stack them up right on top of each other. I love this. Kathy, that was so creative and I, I'm loving how this turned out. So we're gonna get all of the, and there are probably other YouTubers that I've seen do it, but I guarantee I don't remember who they are. I've watched so many videos, but the last one I saw was Kathy. So that's why I wanna give her this credit. We just get all those glued on there. And I'm not worrying about how they look because we're gonna go through and cut off the, that excess. We just take our X-Acto knife, we cut all the way around this house. I do have to go in and cut a little more after I get this done. See, you can see on the sides I cut in more because it would not fit back in the frame. Then I just take, um, I, I mix some ocean blue and some white Waverly chalk paints and got this little color. The ocean blue was just a little dark. I wanted it a little lighter. I go, I do two good coats on this because the metallic of the silver wants to shine through. So we do two good coats. Now we're gonna take some more of those Sola flowers. We're just gonna put a glob of hot glue in the corners and put some of those wood flowers in there. And then one of the regular flowers right in the middle there. Then this flower cut out that I got from the Dollar Tree, the wood one, put that right on, right in the center up towards the top. Now we're gonna take some of this um, Dollar Tree Baker's Twine, and I use the darker blue and the lighter blue. Y'all, I'm not even there yet. Oh, I'm figuring out if I wanna add greenery, but I just did not like how that looked. I like the more simple look better than adding a bunch of stuff. So we're gonna take some of that and we're uh, Baker's Twine. We're gonna do the darker blue color first. We wrap it around each other probably five or six times, and then we take some of the lighter blue and do the same thing. We're just combining these colors and we're gonna make a really simple shoestring bow. Y'all know I cannot make a bow to save my life. These I could kinda handle, so we're getting there, slowly but surely. So we just wrap these all up on each other, make the bow, cut off the tails to the size that I want them. We stick it to the top and that's it, y'all. A Little bit of hot glue. Is that not adorable? And I love the simple look of it. So y'all, here's my final reveal of all of my projects. These were some super simple projects today. Almost all the material came from Dollar Tree, except for the flowers and the scrapbook paper. And I hope you all enjoyed this. I had such a fun time making these. Thank you again for all of these wonderful ladies for this color challenge. Make sure that you go visit your channel, their channels. Y'all will not be disappointed, I promise. Thanks for watching, y'all. I hope you have an amazing day. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. Y'all come back now. You hear?